All right, all right, I'm back. So let's take a look what do I have here. I would say nothing special, just very cold walls in my base. So let's turn off this active vent, or maybe I should turn off all the active vents, just in case, because I would like to get some gas back into my base. But I think I need to cool it down. So do I have enough of pipes? 21 pipes, oh, I guess it's not enough, but I will try to do my best. Jetpack critical. Yeah, we know, we know. Oh, shoot, the jetpack just died. That's fine, because I still need just to jump out of the roof. And this gas tank, or this tank with this gas, is very hot. And this pipe, and this tank over there is very cold so let's say if I will merge them together they should be fine right I am not an expert but I guess there was a I think 100 this is 760 degrees this is minus 100 minus 71 so I guess if I will mix them together I will get maybe minus, not minus, probably between 115, 120 degrees Celsius. So let's do it. I will start the pipe from here. So I will try to do it fast and I will try to explain what I'm doing right now. I will mix, mix these gases so that should give me a little bit colder or CO2. But I guess I will still need to pump some cold oxygen from the environment into these uh, tanks to cool it down a little bit more. And after that, I will pump that cold CO2 in my base. Oh shoot, this is like nice. I didn't know that I would have uh, enough of pipes. So let's take a look. What do we have inside? So 170 degrees, 117 degrees, that's not bad. So now I need to pump a little bit more cold oxygen into that pipe network and I should get better temperature. So let's go to a next stage. So I will do it quick and dirty <laughs> as always. So I will connect this wire or cable here and I need to get that cable on the roof can I fly yes I can perfect so we have the cable on the roof and now I just need maybe a few pipes and activant so this is the activant oh shoot I have only these normal pipes I don't want any normal pipes I want insulated pipes so let's print some insulated pipes I, I would just maybe I would need maybe I don't know two three maybe five maybe so I will wait for one more and that should give me enough of pipes and I hope I can still fly to the top of my base with my jetpack which is almost empty oh should I can't <laughs> I can't so let's do some transfer of these tanks so now I will need to fly with the with the waste tank and I guess you can imagine the, the brown trail which is behind me if I will use this uh, waste tank so this is going to be the active vent we want to suck the gases inside this pipe network. So let's do it this way. Just like this. Let's connect these two puppies or this bunch of puppies just like that. And now I just need to connect this cable with this guy over there. Just like this. But I don't have any things how can I run it so I will just 
run it like manually and I need to get some kind of a thingy downstairs because I want to see the pressure in this pipe and the temperature and of course like what is happening on the roof so I will leave this guy running so I need a pipe analyzer and maybe some console so let's get, get let's get inside the base every time when I go to that airlock it uh, I will get some gases in my base and uh, this contraption is working so far very well so what is the next stage I said I want a console and oh yeah pipe analyzer so let's get the pipe analyzer this is the pipe analyzer oh shoot electrum I should have electrum somewhere I guess maybe in this electro printer or I can make some electrum right so electrum is easy to make so gold and gold so I will make a little bit more and I need silver and a little bit more silver so I will make 100 200 G of electrum let's do it so let's go outside and maybe I will have the, the right temperature. Oh, shoot. And of course, I don't have any temperature in this R uh, furnace because I need to start it. All right. So how can I do it? Hmm. So this, I will turn it off. So let's get this puppy running. So this is off. And I need just a little bit of fuel inside this furnace so what do we have oh shoot oh shoot this is not good i had it running oh okay so whatever whatever so the furnace is running we have a nice cozy 30 mp inside but what can i do right now maybe i should get some steel smelting so i'll be back so i'm smelting some steel and i think i'm very close to blow up this furnace so that's exactly what i don't want to do because the, the furnace is very close to my base so i think i need to lower the the pressure so let's do it right so let's get here so this is the output so we have 30 mpa 20 all right so this should be perfect so what about 14 mpa at least the, the furnace is not getting crazy and i need to find uh, the temperature and the pressure for the electrum and we will have two four mpa in in few seconds i guess so yep this is it this is it i need to stop it to mpa all right so let's get the, the silver and silver gold and gold right so we will have or i will have 200 of g of electrum and i'm really sorry guys that i smell this st stupid alloys in almost every of my episode but I do ask a lot for it, like, Sadamo, please, can you show me, can you show us how to do these alloys? Yes, I can, and it is easy to do. So we should get the electrum. So now we have 200G, piece of cake, and this is it, guys. So I have electrum, let's go inside my base again, and now I can do the pipe analyzer, finally. Like, maybe I could do it even earlier, if I would find the electrum, where is it? But nobody cares, I would do it this way. Because I will need electrum anyway, a little bit later. So what do we have? We have the pipe analyzer. Pipe analyzer goes with me, and I need to install it on the roof. Because I would like to see what is happening. Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. What the hell was that? Well, let's get to the roof. 
and I will install it. Pipe analyzer. Hmm, maybe I will need more than one because later I will de divide this uh, pipe network into two networks. So one will be this tank and the gas over there and the rest of the pipe network. But now I can do it maybe just like this maybe so let's rotate the pipe analyzer or i can do it maybe here yeah this would be probably a little bit better so i'm going to connect this pipe analyzer maybe around this window i guess just like this and then i can read some data from that pipe analyzer because i would like to have some informations what is happening inside those pipes so let's turn it on we have almost 14 mpa and what is the temperature inside that pipe so let's take a look it is 110 degrees and it is because because this pipe over here so let's stop this volume pump and maybe I should get one more active vent because then I can cool down the gases in that pipe much much faster but anyway let's go inside the base and I will do the rest I'm still fine with the food I'm not dying I don't want to look inside my fridge because I don't want to open it otherwise I will maybe spoil or the things which are inside and I think I need two consoles and maybe maybe three consoles maybe let's do it and what about this ugly or oh, not ugly what about this <laughs> baby battery charger maybe I should move it somewhere else because I really need this wall so where can I move it what could be a good place for it hmm what about here yeah so this guy goes with me so i will install it here beside the fridge because that's going to be a place which i will visit very often i guess and uh, like uh, somebody was commenting uh, on my video or it was a maybe a private message i can't remember but it was like sadamo you should play as a robot then you don't need to take care about the food you don't need to do anything like that and yeah that's true so maybe next time i will play as a robot because they don't need to eat anything so we have a wall i need some consoles and consoles i can print in this electro printer right consoles and i think i want oh shoot i need copper okay i should have plenty of copper so let's print i think i will need one two three problem probably three consoles maybe more so that's one oh no that's that's the the power controller so i have three so maybe one more just in case so I have four consoles, so let's do what I want you to do. So this guy here will display the temperature. This guy will display the uh, pressure. And I need to cut some cables. Shoot. All right. So this is a three-way junction. Okay, so let's make it this straight wire just like this so i will connect this guy and this guy maybe a corner here and we will see how it goes so this is going to be a just a button and that console will do nothing or oh shoot i have a better idea maybe i can place this one here and this one next to that one because i will move this machine a little bit later later like not today for sure so this is or what about 
Yeah, this is what happens when you are trying to record a video and you don't know, you have no plans how to do it. Like, uh, this is not scripted, guys. So now I know I can do it much, much better. But I don't want to record the video from the scratch. And of course, like this would, if this would be a stream, it would be so much easier to do because I can stretch the stream to 12 hours and nobody's going to complain about it, right? So now I need the gas control card. So gas, oh, gas display, not the gas control, gas display. So I will need two, so one and one more just like that so the cards are here old style pcbs so one here one there now i need a glass so glass it is and glass one more glass so now just the data card or data disk so this guy will display the uh, pipe analyzer so this is going to be the the temperature and this is going to be the pressure what is it ice crusher no 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 i don't want to display ice crusher i want to display the pipe analyzer and pressure so 14 mpa and 77 degrees but we need that temperature much much lower but it goes down which is good and what about what about this console oh shoot this console just to be in the middle because it will look a little bit better right i guess so let's do it again let's connect it and now i need to find the card or turning on and turning off devices. It's another cartridge. It's stupid circuit board power control. That's exactly what I want. <laughs> so let's do it. Just one. So this is it. Let's put it there and glass again. So it's installed and now I need to program that console what to do. So stupid console, I will tell you what to do. Oh shoot, I need to fly. I'm too far away from that. What do we want? We want active vent. So let's find a vent. Confirm active vent, just like that. And is it running now? Is it not? Mm, and this is what happens, guys, when you are colorblind. Because now I don't know if it is running or not. Can I see it from here? No. Oh yeah, I can. I can see the, the air moving. So let's turn it off. Is it moving? No. Oh, okay. It stopped. So I think I need to get some maybe LED. Yeah, let's print LED. Any LED will do. And of course, LED is a light. Mm, this one so let's print led and then i will know if it is running or not i hope but just like that you would give me that light power critical already that's not fair oh 10 percent okay the problem with the power is sold so let's install the led somewhere here so this is the LED and what about what about here? I think no. Let's place it there. So cable and connections. And sometimes I would say players they don't know how easy it is to run some devices with these uh, consoles. So this is a really, really good example how to do it. And it is very easy to do it. So let's program the console again one more time. So I will delete this and we want to find LED. Is it LED? Yes. So boom. So we want to run LED and ActiveVent together. So 
LED is turned off. I will go outside. Maybe the active wind is turned off as well, which could be great. Ouch. So, yeah, active wind is turned off. It is not running. And if I will turn on that console, the active vent and LED will run. All right, so I can shut down the the furnace, which is outside. So let's go inside again, just like that. And if I will turn it on, you can see the LED is uh, turned on and the active vent outside is probably running as well can i hit yeah i can see the i can see the light on that active one from here i think is it the light or i am just dreaming about seeing some kind of a light i think i can perfect so we have uh, we can see the temperature inside that pipe we can see the 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 pressure which is perfect and maybe i can make it a little bit faster Oh shoot, I have a steel here. I should drop it here on, on this uh, pile. So let's get some pipes, insulated pipes. I think I will just print more large batteries, like uh, la battery cells for my tools. Yeah, I can't afford nuclear battery yet, but maybe one day. Maybe I will get a nuclear battery for Christmas, I don't know. So, battery cell large, and I would like to have maybe one or two extra, because I would like to have these batteries in my tools. I still have plenty of uh, small batteries, but I don't like the small batteries, and you know why. Every time when you want to do something, and you have just the small battery in your tool or in anything, the battery will just die. After we will start some work, let's say mining or welding or grinding some part of your base, the tool with the small battery will just die in few seconds, I would say. So one more battery. This battery goes into this APC. So this one. And now it is charging. So my large batteries are fine. I should still have some plenty, some some coal or plenty of coal. What? What? I don't have any coal. Oh, I have two stacks, maybe three stacks. Yeah, because I used some coal for smelting steel. And uh, what about? Yeah, I, I think I can smelt a little bit more. So lead or solder probably later. And what about silver? So silver it is as well. So just like that, everything is falling over there. I know this is very ugly and very messy, but that's how I do it in my base, right? And now the interesting part, guys. You can see the gases in, the, in that large gas network is like 15 degrees and 16 MPa. And you know what I am aiming for, right? If you do... Let me know in the comments.